So hello everyone, myself Swang Limbu from Namchi Government College, South Sikkim and my roll number is 21NS0151 and then and so the topic for my presentation is different methods of synthesis of nanoparticles. So firstly we'll discuss about its introduction. <coughs> Nanomaterials Nanomaterials have emerged as an exciting class of materials that are in high demand of a range of practical application. The length of nanometer can be understood through the example of 5 silicon atoms or 10 hydrogen atoms lined up, which is 1 nanometer. Materials are defined as nanomaterials if the size or one of the dimension is in a range of 1 to 100 nanometer. The exact history of the utilization of nano size object by human is difficult to clarify. However, the history of nanomaterials utilization is ancient and human beings use these materials a long time ago for various applications unknowingly. About 4500 years ago, human exploited asbestos nanofiber to reinforce ceramic mixture. The ancient Egyptians were familiar with PBS nanoparticles <clears throat> about 4000 years ago and used them in an ancient hair dyeing formula. So this was the introduction of the nanoparticles and now we'll discuss about approaches for the synthesis of nano materials <clears throat> basically there are two <clears throat> approaches to synthesis in nano materials that is top down approach and bottom up approach as you all can see uh, top down approach contains mechanical milling etching laser ablation uh, sputtering and electro <coughs> exploration and similarly bottom up approach contains spinning sol gel process laser uh, polysis chemical vapor disposition molecular condensation chemical reduction green synthesis so we'll discuss its method <coughs> one by one on top down approach uh, in top down approach um, bulk materials are divided to produce nanostructure materials top down methods include mechanical milling laser ablation etching uh, sputtering and electro uh, explosion and first method is mechanical milling a mechanical milling is a cost effective method for producing materials at the nanoscale level for from bulk materials. Mechanical milling is an effective method for producing blend of different phase and it is helpful in the production of nano composites. The principle of the ball milling method, mechanical milling is used to produce oxide and carbide strength aluminum alloy where resistance spray coating aluminum nickel magnesium copper based nano alloy and many other nano composites materials ball mill carbon nanomaterials are considered a noble class of nanomaterials providing the opportunity to satisfy environmental energy storage and energy con conversion demands as you can see in figure now another <coughs> top down method is lithography uh, lithography is a useful tool for developing nano architecture using a focused beam of light of electrons lithography lithography can be divided into two main types 
Max lithography and maxless lithography. In max nanolithography, nano patterns are transferred over a large surface area using a specific max of templates. Max lithography includes photo lithography and nano imprint lithography and soft lithography. Maxless litho maxless lithography includes scanning probe lithography focused ion beam lithography and electron beam lithography now <coughs> we'll discuss about bottom up approach this is the second approach and in this approach chemical vapor disposition method have great significance significance in the generation of carbon based nanomaterials in cvd uh, thin film is formed on the substrate surface by the chemical reaction of vapor phase precious the pre precious is considered suitable for cvd if it has adequate volatility high chemical purity and stability during evaporation low cost a non hazardous nature and long self life so this was the bottom up approach and from the bottom up approach this is one kind of method in this method the hydrothermal process hydrothermal process is one of the most well known and extensively used method used to produce nanostructure materials in the hydrothermal method nanostructure materials are attained through a heterogeneous reaction carried out in a aqueous medium at high pressure and temperature around the critical point in a sealed vessel the slow thermal method is like the hydrothermal method so this was the hydrothermal method and other one is the sole gel method the sole gel method is a wet chemical technique that is extensively used for the development of nanomaterials this method is used for the development of various kind of high quality metal oxide based nanomaterials this method is called a sole gel method as during the synthesis of the metal oxide nanomaterials the liquid precursor is transferred to a sole and the sole is ultimately converted into the network structure that is called a gel so this was the sole gel method and as you all can see in the figure and other one is soft and hard template method and this one is also another method soft and hard template method are extensively used to produce nanoporous materials the soft template method is simple conventional method for the generation of nanostructure materials this soft template method has been considered advantageous due to the due to its straightforward implementation relativity mild ex experimental condition and the development of material with a range of morphologies in the soft templating method nano porous materials are produced using plenty of soft templates such as block copy copolymers block copolymers flexible organic molecules and anionic cationic and non ionic surface tent so this was the soft and hard template method as you can see in the figure the another one is the reverse nickel method the reverse nickel method is also a useful technique for producing nanomaterials with the desired shape and size an oil in water emulsion result in normal micelles in which hydrophobic tails are aimed towards a core that has trapped oil droplets within it however re reverse micel are formed in the case of water in oil emulsion uh, 
in which the hydrophilic heads are pointing towards a core that contains water. So this was rever reverse missile method as you can see. So lastly <coughs> we'll discuss about characteristics and applications of nanomaterials. And special carbon based nanomaterials these are the special carbon based nanomaterials the carbon based nanomaterials family consists of nanomaterials that have been extensively explored for various applications due to their outstanding feature the extraordinary properties of tunable carbon based nanomaterials have attested great interest for use in new technologies and addressing modern challenges the carbon family consists of several unique nanomaterials including CNTS, fluorines, graphene, carbon nanohorns, carbon-based quantum, quantum dots and many others. For the section, so we will discuss about fluorines. Fluorines are an amazing allotropes of carbon and they have they were discovered in 1985 fluorines are highly symmetrical cage of sp2 hybridized carbon atoms fluorines are distinct molecules and they consist of specific number of carbon atoms making them different from the other allotropes of carbon fluorines appear with different sizes according to the number of carbon atoms such as c60 c70 c72 C76, C84, and C100. Among them, the most abundant and famous example is C60 fluorines. C60 fluorines consist of hollow structure with <coughs> 12 with pentagon, uh, 12 pentagon and 20 hexagon made up of made up from 60 carbon atoms that are linked to each other through covalent bond that are sp2 hybridized in nature and they show icohedral symmetry in fluorines the five members ring are isolated by six member ring fluorines is considered an ideal zero dimensional material due to its small spherical and allotropes nature the sphere is considered to be one of the more stable structure in nature and the same is true for fluorine so this was the synthesis of uh, nano particles so here I have finished my presentation thank you